Hey everyone, this is Nick with Comic Spear and Sci-Fi, and we are at Big Ben's Comic Oasis out here in beautiful Allen Park, Michigan. And uh, we did a little bit of a uh, discussion of toys today, so I want to take a few minutes uh, and, and talk about one of the most popular toy lines of my generation. Anyone growing up in the 70s and early 80s remembers the Mego line of action figures. This is actually my original 12-inch Hulk. And this is not my original Spider-Man, but this is one of the first Mego figures I ever got. Mego started out in the 1950s and they were famous for being a sort of a dime store toy company. They would import toys and sell them and then they acquired the licensing to Marvel and DC comic book characters. What they did was is they created a, a a, a body they could mass produce, but then interchange the heads and the costumes so it was very inexpensive. And all these figures were made in Hong Kong and they made Spidey and Captain America and Batman Robin and many, many other ones. And they eventually made uh, Planet of the Apes and Star Trek, the original series, Charlie's Angels, Dukes of Hazzard, um, lots of different licenses they went after. But the reason why I want to talk about this today is because now everything that's old is new again. They're starting to redo Mego style action figures. Figures. Toy Biz did it first with the famous covers line of figures. This is Cyclops, and these are kind of similar, as you can see, real cloth, etc. But the first stab at making real Mego S style figures came from Mattel. And so you can see here is a Lex Luthor figure that Mego never actually manufactured, nor did they ever manufacture Sinestro, but they did want to try and duplicate that line. Now I have a little bit of issue with this retro action line because they're loose and they're lame. He, he, can't, he can't stand up by himself. They're just, they stink. I'm, I'm very, very disappointed. So I never bought any more of these. However, a company called Figures Toy Company, and all you old timers will recognize this look, this looks like the real Migos. Um, the plastic of the boots is slightly different. The fabric of the costume is slightly different. In fact, I have a loot. This one comes on a card that looks like this. This one I purchased last week comes on a different card. I think the figures are identical. I don't think there's any difference. And they're both about 30 bucks retail, so I don't think there's any difference in price. There's no difference in figure. Um, again, beautiful Batman, Joker, Mego reproductions. These are have the Super Powers logo here, and these are called Fist Fighting. Uh, Mego did put out a line of figures called the Fist Fighting figures. I think you push a button and their arms move. And uh, in another example, Mego also did the Star Trek line of figures. This is actually not an original Mego. This is a new one, um, as you can see on the back. Um, Again, another attempt to recreate that beloved line of Mego figures. So this company, Figures Toy Company, is taking care of all the DC line. And, and as you can see over here, Penguin, Catwoman, Riddler, just like we remember them when we were kids. Um, I'm gonna be leaving here today with Aquaman because I am now collecting these again because I always wanted all these. And I had most of them, but they wore out. I played with them like crazy. Now Marvel is also putting out some figures. Right now there's a, this is Captain America and is, I'm gonna go, I've already opened it. I know how blasphemous that is, but I don't care because toys are meant to be played with. So this is really what we remember from the old days uh, is when they came in these boxes like so with the window in them and we would go to the store and buy these. Well, Marvel, uh, who's ever, um, these are being manufactured by Diamond Select Toys and they've decided to add a sort of a Captain action -esque aspect to it with a, uh, his World War II costume, his Steve Rogers costume, his original shield. You know, now these are 50, 60, 70 dollars for these, which to me, I'd rather they just sold me this for 30, like DC is doing, instead of all this stuff that I'll never use. Um, right now, they have Captain America and Spider-Man, and then the next two to come out are going to be Thor and Wolverine. Wolverine was never manufactured by Mego. In fact, uh, Mego predates Wolverine as a character, but he's so popular they're gonna put him out. So now that all these new companies are putting out these retro Mego figures, you might say, well, what happened to Mego? Why aren't they putting him out? Well, unfortunately, um, Mego was making a ton of money with all these different licensed characters they have. They had an opportunity to buy a license for this movie that was coming out called Star Wars, and they decided not to because they were like, well, we can't license everything that comes along. So of course, Kenner took up that license, and we all know what happened. 
Um, Star Wars took off as a toy line as well as a movie line. And what happened was, is Mego had established the eight inch as the standard action figure size. When the Star Wars toys came out, they sort of reestablished a new standard in the three and three quarter inch action figure size. To compete with that, um, Mego bought the license to Buck Rogers, to the Black Hole, to Star Trek The Motion Picture, trying to make up for that mistake with Star Wars, and they also bought a line of figures called the Micronauts. And uh, that was something that they, I believe, licensed from Japan, uh, this line of toys, and those sold very well. But unfortunately, they had leveraged themselves with all these other um, licenses, Dukes of Hazard, Charlie's Angels, as I mentioned, that they eventually went bankrupt, unfortunately, and uh, went out of business. So Mego is a beloved memory. There's a great website called the Mego Museum. Go check that out if you want to look at all the great toys in mint condition that collectors have accumulated. To wrap up, if you're a Mego fanatic from the old days, you don't have to scour eBay trying to find a mint one in a box and pay $300 or more. Figures Toy Company and Diamond are graciously remanufacturing the Mego figures, so now, at long last, we can collect them all. This is Nick with Comic Experience Sci-Fi.